So hey guys, uh, sorry for not uploading in uh, for the past two days, but today we're going to be talking about two stocks that have fell over 5%. Tesla has recovered a bit as um, it fell 6% before market and then now it's down 4.15%. 4, 4 it's around $230, $224 now. No, it's about around $230 now, but it fell as much as $224. And uh, why have why has the stock fallen so much so basically it has missed its deliveries so the silicon valley car maker late wednesday reported third quarter deliveries its proxy for sales that fell short of of the mark tesla said it delivered 97,000 vehicles in third quarter including 79,600 model 3 sedans analysts surveyed by facts and were expecting the company to sell about 99,000 vehicles including 80,200 Model 3s. So it missed by about 2,000 vehicles, which is not too much. Um, I mean, once it gets this China factory up uh, running, then it would sell a lot more, obviously. And it has it's not paying too many ter taxes with China. He, uh, Elon Musk has done a very smart thing in which he avoided a lot of taxes in China. So Tesla deliveries delivered 84,000 vehicles in the third quarter of 2018, including 56,000 Model 3s. So it has grown about um, like 20%, 20%, 30%, and which is very, very good. And Tesla is a very big growth stock. It's not, it doesn't pay dividends and it's not too profitable right now, but it's not too profitable right now. And some quarters is profitable, but most quarters it has been losing money. But in the future, it could be very big as it's slowly buying more and more businesses and um, it's starting to expand its international business. And it's starting to diversify just from cars and they're also selling electric batteries too. So there can be um, huge growth. Obviously, if you guys are interested in Tesla, you should be buying it now as it's 52 week high is about 2, 3, 4, 3, 20, 3, 40, but now it's at 230. So it has fallen a lot, about 33%. And, um, you could see uh, huge gains in the future, but in the short term, you it could be going down a lot more. So it really depends on what, what you guys are interested in. Don't put all your money in Tesla either because it's a very risky stock. Um, if it does keep going and it keeps growing at this rate, it will be very profitable in the future. But you never know. A stock, is, uh, a company's business model can change overnight. So it really depends. So never buy too much of any stock. But uh, if you guys are interested in Tesla, just keep you know watching closely as it, as it is falling and it's, uh, and you can get it at a really good price right now. And the second stock is GoPro. I do not invest in GoPro, but I just saw it fell over uh, twenty percent, nineteen percent. And uh, I know a lot of people are have either owned Go GoPro stocks or are interested uh, own GoPro stocks products or are interested in buying it. So why did um, GoPro fall so much? Uh, to be fair, investors can take some solace knowing GoPro still expects its new products to be available for bulk of the lucrative holiday season. Yeah, so it, this is the season uh, GoPro will have amazing sales. Obviously, it's Christmas time, so many people will start buying GoPro. So um, considering this, uh, So it missed its earnings basically. So if we go up, what happened? Shares of GoPro were down 24.25% basically. Uh, Thursday after action camera specialist reduced its 20 in full year 2019 outlook, blaming a late stage production delay for its uh, just announced Hero 8 black camera. GoPro now expects, so this stock has been growing a lot. Like I've been just seeing in the past week, it says GoPro's up 4%, GoPro's up 5%, but it's felt a lot today or yesterday and uh, we'll see why so blaming a late stage uh, production delay for its just announced hero 8 black camera gopro now expects 2019 revenue in the range of 1.215 billion dollars to 1.25 billion dollars uh, by comparison gopro's previous guidance uh, called for 2019 growth revenue of nine percent to twelve percent so it went from ni around nine percent uh growth to six percent so that's about three percent and even though it doesn't seem like a lot it could scare investors a lot because that means 
its future growth could also slow down. And if 3% is this year, think about the coming years. It will to 5% next year, 6% the year after. So even though it's only 3%, it could really hinder its uh, numbers in the future. Um, yeah, so this is it. Uh, GoPro does sell cameras. And uh, a lot of YouTubers do have GoPros. A lot of... So a lot of you guys might know about these two stocks and if you guys are interested this is like the perfect time to buy again i do not um i'm not a financial advisor so if you guys are if you guys like these these videos and you guys want to see more videos on stocks you guys have to see leave a like and subscribe um comment down below what videos you would like to see and thank you